All right, guys, we are here at the marina. We're not playing games. Literally from the airport to the marina, and we're hopping on the boat right now going fishing. It's a little bit hectic. Gracias, muchas gracias. It is absolutely gorgeous here. We're surrounded by mountains. The water is crystal clear turquoise blue. Our boat is right over there. We're gonna load up the boat. We're not wasting any time. We're gonna get right to the fishing. It's gonna be an epic next couple days, but let's hop on the boat and let's get to it. Good, Ryan, nice to meet you. Ryan. Oh, the famous Ryan. Famous? No, you're the famous guy. No, come on, come on. Nice to meet nice you, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. You're welcome. Bye. We are here, 850 feet of water. Let me show you guys what we're dropping down. The Jig Pro Deep Jig, 400 gram. We're letting this baby catch all the sun rays. When this thing gets down there, it's gonna be glowing. We got Roberto, the Jig Master. Mike, also the Jig Master. Yeah. Fernando. The amateur. No, no. <laughs> He's the captain of the boat. And you guys already know we got- And also Jig Master. Also uh, Jig Master. Eso. George Jig Pro, Connor filming the whole freaking thing. We're gonna tie on this jig, drop it down. We're looking for giant groupers down there. Look at the mountain range behind me. This is truly one of the coolest landscapes. We got birds flying right here. It's gonna be an epic afternoon sesh off the plane, onto the boat. We're looking for dinner tonight and we're dropping deep with the Jig Pro Deep Jigs. All right. Send it? Yeah. All right, first drop in Mexico. All right, guys. This is the deepest I've ever fished in my life. 750 so, feet. We're only 10 miles from shore. Not too much, to be honest, but I've done it with George. I know the basics, but I've never jigged this deep before. Oh, dude, I'm nervous right now. This is a big bait going down, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be working my jig really tight to the bottom. Like the nice thing water. is, at least in These this spot, to the if you eat a bite, so, uh, it's gonna be a good fish. Yeah. Bottom, we haven't got I'm anything but quality now, fish out uh -huh. this one, so. Uh, okay. You get a bite, get it'll bite. be good. Exactly. Whew. So George. It'll go a little bit slack or it'll slow down. If it slows down, you're gonna to want to stop. Maybe All right, a little we're on bottom. So Ryan, what's your experience been like jigging so far? What are your expectations for this trip? All right, guys, so we just got out here, dropping the jigs down. I've never jigged in this deep of water, but like George said, these fish are glued to the bottom. So I'm gonna to try to keep this jig close to the bottom. And if we get a fish, I have no idea. I am extremely nervous right now. Also just soaking in the beautiful scenery here. It is just magnificent. And we are jigging with some of the best people. I mean, these guys are the best jiggers in the game. So I'm just pretty honored to be here right now. Very grateful for the invite. Hoping to put a big fish on the deck. Mm -hmm. Bottom. So what I'm trying to do guys, fishing super tight to the bottom. These fish are attached to the bottom, so we're not able to see them. Oh, that's he's a on. He's he's on. On. He's on. That's a fish. He's on, he's on, he's on. Is that a fish? Yeah. yeah. Point the rod down a rail. Point the rod down a rail. He's on, tranquilo. Oh, that's a fish, dude. That's a fish, dude. Oh my god. We are hooked down in 850 feet of water. That's a fish, dude. Right on the bottom. Right on the bottom. Oh no, on the bottom. Like as I, as I lifted it off the bottom, boom. I, dude. 
This is gonna be a long battle. Oh my God. Wow. Guys, we've literally been here for less than 10 minutes. Wow. Oh my god. I'm just being super chill with it, keeping this tension. And as it gets off the bottom, the further up it gets off the bottom, she's gonna start bloating up. But this fish has a lot of weight to it. And we know, literally as I drop down, they were telling me, you don't get a lot of bites here, but the bites that you do get are quality fish. So we are gonna play this fish out, take our time. First 10 minutes jigging in Mexico, we are hooked up on a big fish. The most important part of this whole process is being patient, keeping this fish tight. Oh, George is on, George is on. Double up, baby, let's go. We're just keeping super tight. All right, guys, this fish is really coming up. Oh, yeah. First drop, literally 10 minutes in. <sighs> this is a big fish. And how long did that take? Less than 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, it's coming up, it's coming up. No, pero ya se le está empezando a abrir la línea. Pero se está abriendo bien, ¿no? Sí. No me voy a mover, ahí se quedo. It's a floater. Ah. Oh my God, big color, big color. Here she comes. Look at that fish. Giant grouper, guys. Oh my God. Oh, 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 no, 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 hold the rod. So, First fish in the boat of your oh. trip. And look at that, look the oh side of it. George, George, George. <laughs> George! I you. Guys, look at the size of this fish. All right, guys, first 10 minutes jigging in Mexico. Come real close. Look at the size of that grouper. We're not too sure what it is, and she's a freaking unit. We're about to put her on the scale. Incredible fish. Mountains in the background, out here with Jig Pro. This is insane. All right, guys. We came here chasing a world record. We don't know exactly what species this is and potentially could be a world record grouper. We were following all the IGFA standards with the hull configuration, the little length. We are shooting for an old tackle world record. So I had the IGFA certified measuring device here. We're gonna go from right there all the way down here. So this fish is exactly 102 millimeters, all right? 102 centimeters, so it's, it's a little bit over a meter long. And now we're gonna proceed to weigh the fish. On the IGFA rules, we have to weigh the fish on land, but we're gonna do it here and then we'll do it again on land. So maximum of three hooks allowed, two at the bottom, one on top, completely legal. Saving the whole thing, we're sending this to the IGFA. Stay tuned for that world record. About 32 pounds. 32 pounds. Right now. So again, we're gonna weigh this thing when we get back to land. Stay tuned. 
Now, we want to keep fishing. At this point, it was pretty hard to fathom that we landed in Mexico an hour and a half ago. First spot, first drop, I catch a potential world record star set of grouper. We reset the drift and we just started piling fish in the boat. So after filling up the boat with plenty of grouper, we run about 15 miles to the island. And from a distance, we all see something at the island. We're not really sure what it is. Enjoy this footage because this is something that I may never see again in my life. And I catch my bucket list fish on top water. We just saw the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I put the drone up and I got some spectacular footage. So guys, we're gonna roll that right now. After our insane dolphin encounter, we decided to do some more slow pitch jigging. Oh, 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 oh! Holy smokes. Smiles on everybody's faces and a cooler full of fish, we could not have had a better couple hours of fishing in our first day in Mexico. Leaving the island, we suddenly saw giant explosions on top water. Okay, okay, I see him. <laughs> On the popper, baby! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! Nice yellowtail, smoke the top water! Oh my god, these fish are so strong. I'm actually like super impressed right now. Look at this insane island filled with fish. First yellowtail baby on the popper. Let's go. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, you heard the echo? We got color. Dude, this fish is so strong. It's actually unbelievable. <sighs> Way harder than amberjacks, you're right. Way harder than amberjacks. Oh. Not ready yet. Oh, that was a picture with the island in the background. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my god. Devoured the popper. Yeah, you can get a, a really good fight because of it. Because you swallow the whole thing. Yeah. So you can kind of gag it on the room. Otherwise, it's a much better fight. Oh, I swallow the whole thing. Oh. 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 Oh.
That's Bro, dinner. Oh my god. They didn't fight us hard. Look at that. Bucketless fish. Yellowtail on top. Epic eat. And she just devoured the top water. Right by this island. Such a cool spot. And she's gonna be dinner, baby. Delicious eating fish. That's what we're after. We all have those special days when fishing. Days that would be impossible to recreate. This was one of those days for me. Off of the plane, onto the boat, non-stop fish. But what made this day more special than the fish? I realized how small we are and that this planet is filled with so much beauty. A couple months ago, I was fortunate enough to fish in the jungles of Colombia to now the desert mountains of San Carlos, Mexico. We made some new friends, set potential world records, and all of this in just a few hours of fishing on our first day. Join us next time as we explore unfished waters and depths never touched by the local commercial fishermen. If you're new here, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe. But until the next time, keep on fishing.